The Communication Workers' Union, or CWU, has obtained a stay on the retrenchment of 468 workers at the Telecommunication Services of Trinidad and Tobago, or TSTT, who were given retrenchment notices by the state-owned company on Tuesday. CWU Secretary General Clyde Elder said TSTT's action was not lawful. So we went to court yesterday afternoon. We had a hearing just about after five. We we got a hearing from the court. We finished uh, last night, maybe also minutes to eight. And at the end of it, the court would have ordered that TSTT is not to effect the retrenchment of the workers in the bargaining unit until the determination of the dispute that is before the court. Yes, they would have asked for an opportunity to be heard, and the court granted them that, which will be on June 14th, where the parties will return to court. Asked whether there was dialogue between the union and TSTT prior to the dissemination of retrenchment notices, Mr. Elder had this to say. We were in discussion, yes, and up to Friday last week, we would have sent a letter to the company indicating that based on the information they sent us, there were some members of our bargaining unit who we were not able to identify either on the structure to remain or on the proposed people to be sent home to be retrenched. So people were in fact missing. And TST responded yesterday to say, well, look, listen, those who you didn't see, they are not interfered with and they are still on the structure and they will continue in the employ. And we said to TST, listen, let us meet and have a discussion on how this thing is going to pan out. And they wrote us and told us, look, listen, all discussion done. Mr. Elder says that going forward, he is hoping for better relations between his union and the company. TSTT has a battery of lawyers that knows industrial relations. TSTT has consultants that knows industrial relations. TSTT has an industrial relations department that knows industrial relations. TSTT's CEO, Ms. Lisa Egan, is a lawyer, and she should know industrial relations. Unfortunately, um, it appears as if none of them, none of them do, and therefore they would have told themselves that they could pay the workers 45 days in lieu of notice and to help everything else and just pay them the money. They will take the money and just go anyway.